Hey, what's up, my little title tells? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you were Kourtney Kardashian, you are clapping back at the trolls. And no, we're not talking about Kim and the jealous Chloe. Baby, Kourtney Kardashian is actually under siege because people are criticizing her for having a baby at 44. You guys act like she is 88 and she ain't gonna live to see the baby graduate kindergarten. What is wrong with y'all? But people are also saying that this is Kim and that troll farm going hard at Courtney because again, they wanna make sure that Courtney can't have a minute's peace during the most special time of her life. Now get this, Courtney though, baby, she's pregnant. She is rubbing her belly and apparently she has time because she has been clapping back to everybody in the comments. But in a way that lets you know she's not bothered, but she just don't appreciate this. Let's get into this. They said Courtney's making it clear that she's unfazed by the internet trolls and their negative comments about her pregnancy at 44. The fun thing is, right, if they, if she had had the baby surrogate, right, and of course surrogacy is a blessing for people that cannot have children, right, wouldn't nobody have anything to say. So why does everybody have so much to say about a 44-year-old woman being blessed with a miracle child? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, they said those comments don't affect me. To those who do, who do them, I just say, how dare you question God's plan? Now, the funny thing is about Courtney saying, how dare you question God's plan? I said the same thing y'all did. God's, is that the name of your of the IVF doctor, Dr. J.M. God, Godfrey, right? But apparently, Courtney's sharing more, we got it all wrong. She said, because that's how I see this pregnancy, which in fact arrived when both Travis and I no longer even thought about it. And a year after, we stopped trying with assisted fertility. That's right. I thought this was IVF. It was not, right? They said we were officially done with IVF. I do remember Courtney being like, it put me in early menopause. This is my menopause body. I don't like it, right? They, She said in the confessional, we would love a baby more than anything, but I just really believe in what God has in store for us. If that's a baby, then I believe that it will happen. She also shared with the outlet that she never felt like IVF was the right route for her. She said the decision to try assisted fertilization was almost a non-choice and in the sense that I was pushed toward it as if it were the only option. The truth is, I felt like I was doing something that wasn't right for me. My intuition was telling me that she wasn't right for me. Again, you guys listen. So where does this, where does this go, right? People are saying that Courtney is taking the stance that People think that she's making it with Kim. By the way, the Kardashians season three, no, sorry, season four, episode three recap is up on my channel. Tisa tells, you know the deal. Go ahead and check it out. All right, I'm going to be reviewing the whole season, but let's get back into this, right? People are saying that the reason why Kim thinks that this is taking a dig at her is because Kim chose to have her kids uh, IVF. Now, the thing is, and also Chloe chose to have her second child IVF. The thing is, right, it makes me think about those rumors about whether Kim had and Chloe had the baby's IVF because they didn't want to ruin their bodies. It makes me think, was that true? I know Kim said she had this whole thing and maybe she does, I don't know. But then Chloe sat there and told all of America that she was infertile and had us praying for her. And basically the only thing she was allergic to was having a baby with an with a, with a addict, right? But people are saying that Courtney's happiness, Kim is viewing directly as a slap in the face to her. One, she felt like when she dissed Travis, right? Because Travis said he had a crush on her. When she dissed Travis 20 years ago, she was just like, ew, I can do better than you, right? Cut to 20 years later, Travis is still on top of the world. Kim is struggling for relevancy. There's also to the fact of Remember how Courtney was like, I want a baby in my belly. I want to carry. And Kim was like, that's wild. Why would you want to do that? Chloe too. They're saying that they're just simply jealous. Just jealous. And listen, just jealous because Courtney likes being pregnant. Y'all, hold on. Let me get this up. All right. I found it, right? This is what really grinded Kim's gears. Courtney said, I like being pregnant. I'm obsessed with the idea of being pregnant. But this time, unlike the other three, I was followed by a different group of doctors who in the first months gave me many restrictions. Okay, she goes on to talk about the restrictions. But y'all, I think that is the gym in it. Let's not forget, okay, that when Kim was pregnant, 
in all her pregnancies, even the surrogacy, which might have been why she started going to surrogacy, Kanye would always go off working while she was pregnant. She was pretty much with Chloe and her mom. Chloe, we already know what happened of all her pregnancies. The fact that before uh, Courtney was being treated like that was Scott when she was pregnant. And now Courtney is actually living the dream. Courtney is living everybody's dream. You got a husband that loves you, protects you, provides for you, doesn't cheat on you, and is holding your hand every step of the way in the pregnancy, that is embracing your changing body, not looking at it with disgust, who is telling you you are sexy, eat the pasta, eat the croissant, do this. You have children around you that love you more than the nannies because we all know that kim likes to brag but at times complain that the kids are closer to the nannies than her i know they love her as the mom but you get what i'm saying right courtney chose family kim chose fame chloe chose to be uh uh uh, uh kim's flunky everybody made their choices but now that they see that courtney might have actually chosen right now that they see that Courtney following her gut and her intuition took her to a new level of happiness that none of the sisters have experienced yet, y'all, I don't know. I do know that I do believe the streets saying that at the end of the day, Courtney is literally taking a, like trying to make up with Kim, not because she cares, right? Not because like, oh, I think, I'm, well, maybe she doesn't care, but not because she's like, oh my God, I think Kim's right, but because she decided that living well is the best revenge. And even though Kim and Chloe might hate, 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 what she has, this bubble of happiness, is so beautiful that she wants her haters to get a front row seat to watch it. And baby, unfortunately, it looks like all their last names begin with K. Listen, like Chloe said, now I talk to my child every day. I have a positive mindset. I keep my head straight and I say, a lot of prayers have stopped worrying i'm more thankful she said she's never been happier and she is living her dream so kim chloe <laughs> get some popcorn because this happiness train ain't stopping anytime soon anyway y'all let me know what you think in the comments i'll talk to y'all later bye anyway y'all let me know what you think in the comments all right don't forget the season uh but the recaps are up for the season go ahead and check them out and check out the last season too talk to y'all later bye